From little chickens, Mama. They lay them and we eat them. But suppose someday there weren't any chickens. Would that mean there wouldn't be any eggs? Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that, Mama. But, but is it true, Babs? If there weren't any chickens, there wouldn't be any eggs. Is that true? I suppose so, Mama. But there will always be chickens. You can be sure of that. But suppose someday it happens. S suppose someday there weren't any chickens. Oh, Babs, what could I possibly do? And then the Eggman wouldn't have... He wouldn't have a job. It might happen, Babs. What could I do? No, Mama. That's just egg paranoia. I think you're being silly. Why, there are so many chickens now that we can eat some and let some live in order to supply us with eggs. Chickens are plentiful, Mama. The world will never be without chickens. You can be sure of that. Eggman, Eggman, anybody home? Cotton, Cotton. I'm in here! I hear the Eggman! In here! In here, Mr. Eggman! Eggs! Eggs! Oh, help! In here! In here! In here, Mr. Eggman! Here I am! Come on! The Eggman! The Eggman! Hello, Edie. How's my little princess today? Mr. Eggman! Mr. Eggman, we're having a party for Babs and Thursday. We'd like you to come as Eddie's date. Well, I would be honored to attend, especially with such a beautiful date. And now, Edie, what will it be today? I have grade A extra large. I have grade A large. I have medium. I have small. I have brown and I have white. Why, look. Just look at these. So fresh you could hardly believe it. Why, they're just begging to be scrambled or fried or poached or hard-boiled or all around ready to be thrown into a big, fat, juicy omelet. How about it, Edie? What will it be for the lady who loves eggs most? I want it all! I'll have the brown ones, and those great big white ones, and I'll have those over there, and I want some for frying and for scrambling. All right, Eddie, we'll buy them all for you. How's that? We'll buy them all. Oh, Cotton, you make me so happy. You and the Eggman. Please, Mr. Eggman, please don't ever quit your job. I always need walked eggs. Always and always and always. Miss Edie, as long as there are chickens laying and trucks driving and my feet walking, you can be sure that I will bring you the finest of the fine, the largest of the large, and the whitest of the white. In other words, that thin-shelled ovum of the domestic fowl will never be safe as long as there are chicken laying and I'm alive because I am your Eggman and there ain't a better one in town. 